any commander at any echelon needs to think about electronic signature and be looking up as much as they're looking down. The soldier who used to previously just focus on the ground is now looking up as well. So what we're calling near surface warfare, the ability to control the airspace above you and critically as part of that, the electronic space all around you as well. So we've got a range of sensors, so a number of drones of all sizes. Uh, we have importantly got the network that can take those feeds and then importantly on top of that, a whole series of effectors particularly first-person view drones, which take a real niche skill to be able to operate. But also some more conventional capabilities, because we all know drones don't fly in all weathers. So the new Carl Gustav anti-tank capability, that's another more traditional way of extending the lethality at the most tactical level. The Recce Strike Group is building on existing doctrine using newer technologies to more effectively and more accurately dispatch of enemies where necessary. We primarily work in small teams of sensor, decider, effector teams comprised of a reconnaissance style patrol unit enhanced with things like artillery expertise, loot, so light electronic warfare teams giving us an additional sensor and having increased medical capabilities to allow us uh, to patrol outside previous sustainment and Kazovac distances. Having that more skilled patrol allows us to both sense the enemy at longer ranges, decide more quickly based on that evidence to then have an effect on that enemy. Holding the trigger control at the lowest appropriate level and allowing that strike to occur faster than ever before and more accurately using less munitions. This is one of the best pieces of kit that we've trialled. My role in Patrol's platoon is as a sniper. If we identify an enemy, one of us has to do calculations to get the round to land there. This takes away all of that work. We can literally fire the laser and it gives us all the data corrections that we need instantly. Basically it just looks like a set of binoculars, but it's far more powerful than that. We could probably identify objects and targets up to 10k away with uh, thermal imaging. The communication aspect of it is one of its strongest features, so we can send one laser out there and within seconds everybody that's connected to our network can have the 10 figure grid of that location. So the best quit is the EDSA, which is actually dismounted situational awareness. You don't need a map anymore. It helps with the battlefield situational awareness. This does it all for you, as well as the comms. As a fire team commander or a section commander helps but the battlefield helps progress through the planning that gets cut in half. The prep time is non-existent with this. You can just fight through and fight through, fight through all the way through. With this, you can see the limits of exploitation a lot better and the comms network and see where everybody is. You'll see every fighting commander and section commander with one of these on. Uh, so what we'll do, being in the experimental trials group is that we'll send out small teams to trial out new kit working closely with um, Land Warfare Centre. We trial it out to see if it works, if there's anything that could be improved and we work closely with like, other partners for that as well. Uh, so my role is the um, D40 drone operator. So essentially this will be used at a section level. It'll fly up and it's got a camera attachment on it that can be used for reconnaissance so you can get a clearer view of the battle space and then can also be fitted with payload. They can drop high explosive munitions. That'll just increase the fighting power within the battle space. Well, I think the Chief of the General Staff has been really clear that we need to double fighting power by 2027. And the Experimentation Trials Group got a, got a key role in trying to accelerate that modernization in the British Army, making us more lethal more survivable on the battlefield and better able to integrate sensors, deciders and effectors. <laughs>